Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University, and I want to walk through how to enter a bill for inventory. Okay, so there's going to be generally two ways you're going to do this, and it's a, it's a different process than just entering a bill uh, like normal. Okay, so if you have inventory that you uh, track in QuickBooks, okay, you're going to be ordering this inventory, you're going to get inventory. Sometimes you're going to get it with a bill, and sometimes you'll get it without a bill. Okay, so if you look right here, you'll see this receive inventory button. And of course, in your preferences, you have to have your inventory turned on before you can use this. But you'll see here when you click this, it says receive inventory with a bill or receive it without a bill. Okay, really, when you click this, it takes you to the same screen. Okay, so let's say we receive it with a bill. Okay, it's going to take me to this bill. And what you can do if you receive it without a bill is simply click this button here and it's gonna turn into what's called an item receipt. An item receipt in QuickBooks means that you received these items, these inventory items, but you did not get a bill. It's a way for you to track uh, how many units you have on hand. Uh, it, it, it's just a good way to keep track of everything that's going on in your business, but you haven't gotten a bill yet, okay? So again, you can click this and it's gonna take you to the bill screen. So. You're going to enter your inventory this way when you get the receipt of the inventory with a bill at the same time. So you would enter a bill and you would enter it under the item tab and record how many items you got. Okay, let me go back to the home screen. But many times you get a bill <clears throat> for or you get your inventory delivered to you and there's not a bill with it. So what you want to do in that case is you want to receive inventory without a bill. Okay, so we're gonna choose this option here and you'll see it takes me to the same screen. So very, very important. If you click receive inventory items without a bill, you wanna make sure this is not checked, okay? And it turns it into an item receipt. All right, so let me enter an item receipt, okay? And we're gonna say that Cal Telephone uh, delivered. So down here, we're gonna choose the items. We're gonna say that they delivered these doorknobs. Okay, and let's say that we got a hundred of them. Okay, so it was $3,495. This is based on the item. All right, so uh, I'm not going to assign a class or anything. So this is just stuff we got. We put it in, into inventory, but we have not gotten a bill yet. Okay, so I can hit save and close. It's not going to assign a class. I'm going to save anyway. Okay. So we uh, received that inventory. So now let's say that the bill comes in the mail or gets emailed or whatever the case may be. We receive this bill. What we want to do, okay, the normal way, you're going to go up and say vendors enter bills. This is just for your normal bills, okay? But if we choose that vendor, okay, it's going to say, hey, that you have pending item receipts, okay, exist for this vendor. So you don't want to enter a bill this way. So this is very, very important that you don't enter a bill this way for the items that you've already received. You'll see here it says, go to the vendor's menu, choose enter bill for received items, okay? So we want to get out of this area. We do not want to enter a bill this way, okay? So you can choose this, enter bills against inventory. Uh, you can say vendor uh, enter bill for received items. All right. Either way, it's going to take you to the same place. So you click this and it takes you to this screen. Okay. We have vendor and we're going to say Cal Telephone. Uh, use the item receipt date for the bill date. Okay. I like to check this off because uh, we want to record that, you know, really the bill when we received those items, we were liable for payment of these items. Okay, title probably transferred. So I checked this to say, let's use the item receipt date as the bill date. Okay, so we check this or highlight this, click OK. And it's going to pre-fill everything uh, that was on that item receipt in the bill. Okay, now if the cost was a little bit different, you can change the cost, you can change the amount. Uh, you know, you definitely want to put in the invoice number uh, so that you can track that and so that if for some reason they send this bill again, uh, it'll easily track duplicates within QuickBooks. But otherwise, you're going to just record this and we're going to hit save and close. We'll say yes. Don't worry about the class right now. Okay. And now we have a bill for this inventory.
So what's happened here is uh, we've received the items, it's increased our inventory, so it reflects that we have this inventory on hand and we can sell it. We received the bill for that inventory and we applied it, you know, we matched it with that item receipt, and now we have a bill that we need to pay. Okay, so again, very, very important that you follow the process uh, when you're dealing with inventory and entering bills. If, if you, for example, receive inventory with a bill, let's say, or even, you know, let's just say that you go to vendors, enter bills, you purchase some inventory. You can just go to enter bills and go to items and record the inventory that you purchased. That's totally fine. You just want to follow this process for when you receive inventory, but you don't have a bill yet. Okay. Any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave them below. Happy to answer those. Um, and also head over to the QuickBooks University. Love to have you become a member over there. It's a one-time lifetime fee for the training tutorials. And I personally uh, will walk with you in learning QuickBooks through our private Facebook group, our forum, uh, and email. Answer your questions. Head over there now, qbuniversity.org.